Hey, I'm Dr. Craig Chappell at Intuit Medical and secondary to coronavirus, we have been unable to perform osteopathic manipulation on our patients secondary to the uh, social distancing uh, rules which we're trying to comply with. So secondary to uh, a bunch of rather angry pregnant women, I have been asked or I'm going to put forward a video of at-home possibilities that exist for pain during pregnancy associated with osteopathic manipulation. And this obviously will require some help from a significant other or somebody that can help treat you through this pregnancy. Uh, but I'm happy to give this to you and hopefully it will work for you at home. So we'll jump right in to make this as short as possible. The first thing we're going to do is uh, just some mobilization techniques. Um, in pregnancy, your posture changes, everything changes, and everything gets stiff, and some things get loose, and some things get tight, and so we're just going to go through some gentle mobilization techniques um, that will allow you to hopefully feel a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to, going to do is if this was uh, my patient sitting at the edge of a table or seat or, or something like that, um, this is a pretty easy way to do it such that if I were the practitioner or the person performing the procedure, what I would do is put my hand on the patient's shoulder, and then with my hand very spread out, I put my thumb at the top of the thoracic spine, so in this region be between the shoulder blades, and what I would do, or what I do for mobilization, I'm trying to basically mobilize each one of these segments as I, I work down through the thoracic and lumbar spine. The thoracic spine is in white, the lumbar spine is in blue. And so what I do with my left hand is I put a little bit of a downward force and a backwards force through the, the shoulder blade or the, the shoulder itself. And with the other hand, I put a transitional force not directly opposite to the other shoulder or not directly anterior, but kind of at a 45 degree angle through the spine. So I do this motion here and I, I gently side bend, rotate, um, and extend with my left hand and gently guide that force with my right hand. So I'm not cranking on it, I'm pushing on it really hard, I'm basically just mobilizing it as I go down. So what's this hand doing? So the force, the, the mobilization should take place under the, the, the hand on the spine. So if I'm here, I want to mobilize in this, this region. So the, the force is through this direction, focused in this region, and I'm trying to focus the same thing here. And so as I go down deeper, I put a little bit more side bending, a little bit more rotation, and I uh, basically work it around my hand as I, as I go down. So we'll demonstrate that um, on a live patient and you'll be able to see what that looks like in, in real time. So we'll have the patient facing away from us, uh, like we did in the demo a minute ago. I'm gonna use my whole thumb and all the way to my theater eminence. And there's a, there's a on everybody, there's kind of a bone that sticks out right here. That would be the, the, the top of uh, T1 or the bottom of the cervical spine at C7. We're gonna kind of start there. And with the left hand, put a downward pressure or rotational pressure. And with the opposite hand, I'm pushing it 45 out through that direction. And basically, this is it. So we just work our way gently down uh, through the thoracic spine into the lumbar spine. When you get to the lumbar spine, it does require a little bit more uh, pressure with the uh, spine hand, so in this case, my right hand, and I basically just work it down uh, through. If you notice as you're doing this, as you do it more and more, you'll get a feel for it. If you notice any like really restricted spots, the things that require restriction, just spend a minute there and kind of go up and down in that one area um, in order to, to, to loosen it off and then work your way down. If you feel another one, kind of spend some time there adding uh, side bending, rotation, extension uh, through the left hand and then just kind of gently uh, work down through. Um, the patient will be able to tell you as well whether you're doing it too hard, too soft or uh, whatever. I mean, so that they usually make uh, corrections on your behalf. So that's the first technique I want to show you. So the second thing I want to show you requires the patient to lie on their back. In a clinic setting, it's super easy because I have this table to work on. At home, you may want to do the edge of a bed. Um, you can do the floor, uh, whatever works, but you kind of need a stiff surface behind you. Doing it on a bed it gets a little bit tricky because it's so bouncy. Um, but uh, the next one we're going to do is kind of stretch out the lower back um, and uh, the glutes, actually. And so this one can be done uh, with everybody. The more pregnant you get, the less time you want to spend on your back. So don't spend forever on your back, but this should be okay. Um, if you get dizzy, lightheaded, those types of things, lay on your side and you'll uh, generally uh, perk right up. But anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is grab the, grab the knee and we're going to take it into uh, basically flex or excuse, 
uh, flex the hip up into this position and you'll come to a point in which the patient won't let you move it anymore because that means it's, it, it's tight. And so from here, all we're doing is taking it basically straight up towards the same shoulder uh, on the same side. And from here, we're gonna ask the patient, could you gently shove me down the table or, or, or shove me away? You don't want the patient to straighten their knee. That's not what we're going for. We're not trying to flex the quad. We're trying to do a glute act activation. So we lean on the patient's knee and go ahead and, and push me away. And so they push away gently and you, and relax. And the practitioner or the person doing this provides an unyielding counter force. So you don't want them to shove them because they're, I mean, people's glutes are pretty strong unless they're in severe pain, um, then they don't work that well. But you want them to basically put some effort into it, but not enough to actually move you down the table. And so this is called the muscle, muscle energy technique, works very well. So go ahead and push again. And you have them push for three to five seconds and then relax. And as they relax, you take up the slack. So you go to a, a, a base, basically a deeper stretch. So this is position one, you do it on both sides. The next thing we do is we actually take the leg out a little bit and we have them push it instead of straight down across their body at a 45. So it's not straight down this time, but more down and to the opposite side. And so we take it out and go ahead and push in that direction and relax and push and relax. And they shouldn't be trying really hard. I have some, some patients come in and they obviously want to be stronger than me, which they are, and they shove me right down the table. So it, we're not looking for that. And then the next position, you're going to go up, over, and kind of towards their belly. And in this case, it's just opposite. So they're going to push right towards me. So go ahead and push towards me and relax and push towards me and relax. So you can repeat this on each station uh, three to five times, depending on how, how much uh, effort they give you or how much stretch or how much uh, progression you're making. And you don't have to overstretch or anything like that. We're just basically trying to fire the glutes and, and get the pelvis uh, stabilized, a little bit activated, and that will help uh, a lot with pelvic pain. Um, if a patient is having a pubic symphysis dysfunction, which often, uh, oftentimes ha happens during pregnancy, we want to uh, stretch that out a little bit too. So this is my favorite way to do that. Both knees up, feet together, still on your back. Put your fist between the patient's knees and go ahead and squeeze my fist. And they squeeze their fist. Sometimes you'll feel a pop in your uh, pubic symphysis. It's not a, a horrible thing, but don't push so hard that it hurts. You're just pushing gently. After you do that, widen the gap a little bit and now come together again, push together and relax. And we do that three to five times each position and then pull your knees apart really hard and relax. And everybody will be stronger in the outward motion. So you come together with your hands, lock them in the middle and then have them do it three to five seconds, three to five times. Um, and that's kind of treats the entire pelvis, not specifically, but can be helpful uh, for uh, low back pain, pelvic pain in pregnant women along with the, uh, the spine.